So, David, I got a question for you. So, last year I um, saw Toto with the Greek, and um, you were in the band. Was that your final farewell? No. With the band concert wise? I've been uh, flying out to a couple locations and oh. secretly showing up uh, at a couple of gigs to keep my hand in there because I love playing live and I love playing okay. with the guys. But uh, that was pretty much, I was tapering off here trying to you know, go into early, you know, uh, semi-retirement there and off the, from the road. And, uh, cause the road's a, uh, it's hard out there if you're on a bus and get older. I, and, I don't know how Luke does it. Uh, I mean, 300 road, days a year. He's a road puppy, you know? Uh, geez, and, know. uh, but that was, uh, that was one of our gr- better shows, that great was, theater shows really there. Was. And, uh, we had our lighting lights together and we had uh, everybody. Every, everything was just clicking right there. So uh, Luke uh, is a is a next level musician. He's yeah. such a, a pure. I don't know. I think he's the best guitar player in the world, pound for pound. You know, yeah. especially now. There's, yeah. you know what I mean. There's, yeah. there's every part he ever did on one of my songs. What he just sat down and did, and even yeah. if I wasn't in the room, what he did with Quincy Jones and Human Nature, I wasn't even around. And he just sits down, and the parts he comes up with, you see why so many people hired him. Yeah, I would figure out two months into a tour, hey, you know, this is what I should have played on the record. Mm-hmm. I'd settle into yeah. the part I should have played on the record. I could have just done this, and it would have said everything, as opposed to whatever I went through on the record. Luke does that. These guys do that when they first sit down. They settle into Immediate. something. It's like they've been playing it yeah. for three months. And they do it like that on the spot. That's how my brother Jeff was with a drum part. Yeah. You know, that's the way these guys are. And uh, Luke, to me, I completely understand. If I could play like he does, I'd be wanting to share it with the world. You know, he's like one of those jazz greats. He's just uh, um, his next personality level. Yeah. also is just so quick. You know, yeah. He's just oh, so he's fast. Really yeah. fast. But a bit, again, to give him praise, to give Luke praise. I can't tell you what, like Steve said, he's a next level musician. You know, I've, there's a lot of people that are down here. There's keyboard players, everything. But Lukather stands above them all. You know what I mean? Playing with Ringo, I mean, he's the one guy that plays all the parts perfectly, like the records were and everything, and lays he the nails. time. To, he's got first of all, he's got great time, and uh, he really keeps that band locked in. And uh, I can't say enough about him. Look at this. Look at the uh, Rosanna solo that he did. That he ended up tripling. He, that's him improvising and then tripling a guitar solo. I mean, I was he was I would be lucky to get that to get that even once. And he was maybe. like that in high school. You, you know, know what I mean? Really? Was, oh yeah, he was playing like born that with in high a guitar school. in his hand. You yeah, know? yeah. He was a, a, and he didn't have his parents weren't musical at all. You know, at yeah. all. Well, he still got the bug. Amazing player. 